There was a mountain of data to sift through, much of it tantalizing, I admit. But it will take time to fully decrypt everything that piques my interest, so... To answer our immediate question, I've been concentrating my efforts on the audio saved by Taishul Jha herself. While I've not listened to it yet, I have a selection ready for playback. Would you like to hear it now? Yes, please. All right. Several audio files will now play in sequence. to record this to... to help me put my thoughts in order, I suppose. Mother? Officially I am. Was? A Calvergian with the Lance Guard. I was part of a contingent dispatch to Yasulani to hunt a Tural Vidral that was wreaking havoc. After our mission was complete, I elected to remain. It was the perfect opportunity to document the geographic distribution of medicinal herbs in this region. Or so I said when requesting special dispensation. In truth, I could not bear to return to Tuyolal. to aid Commander Zoralja in the right of succession, but he did not so much as look my way. I was never in contention, of course, one of the nameless many in his army. To go back and face that reality was too much for me, so I ran, and in my cowardice, I stumbled upon this path, a path that changed my life. When the dome appeared, I found myself trapped within, and reunited with my commander. I... how am I to speak of Commander Zoranja? I admired him. His incontestable strength. His unwavering focus. He was a man of great passions. I watched him, captivated by his intensity. From afar, I would not dare approach. And in watching, I came to know him. His eyes too sought the distance. But not as mine did. He yearned not for another, but something else, beyond the horizon. That gaze would never fall upon me. I knew. I knew. The experiment will soon proceed to its next phase, and we need does as he promised. I will have my heart's desire. Today... Today... It should have been today. A new beginning. What I have dreamed of for so long. I hold a future in my arms. If he could see him, embrace him, surely, surely that would be enough. So full of hope I was, a foolish hope.
Its scales are blue. He's your son. <laughs> My... for me. The research hasn't been going well, but I can't let him take it out on my baby. Hush now, little one. I know. I know just where I do. That's all of them. We know some manner of accident happened at the facility after this was recorded. Perhaps your mother couldn't come back for you. Hey, Gulodja. I'm fine, Lamarchi. Father and mother, they were both so lonely. If we could have been together, maybe... They wouldn't have been. <sighs> but sometimes things don't work out, no matter how hard you try. I... I can't tell if I'm happier now. But it's better to know, I think. Thank you, everyone.
people look uneasy. Did something happen? Have you heard? Someone was killed in the Thunderyards. The Thunderyards was one of the hunters slain by a beast. It was a hunter, all right, and a veteran at that. But it was no fiend that did him in. Only a random bolt of lightning. Such a senseless way to die. They say that he expended his last soul cells during Zaralja's attack on the city. For an upright, hard-working man to meet such an unceremonious end, it feels wrong. But we'll be fine, won't we? Even if the system no longer erases our memory of the departed, the regulators continue to function. I shan't go before my time. Growing old and passing peacefully with the help of the ushers is only natural. Well, you may think so, but how are we to know? We have no memory of those who have gone. More may have met violent deaths than passed from old age, and we would be blissfully unaware. It could happen to you, or me, to any of us. Then what are we to do? Spend every waking moment thinking only of how we might die? With time, I had hoped that they'd be able to adjust to their new situation. But it's only gotten worse. Look! It's Queen Spain! as ever, Nico. Never fear. I'm here to set things aright. I don't understand. Sveen is gone. Forever. You there, Gossen. You were the Queen's aide, weren't you? What's the meaning of this? Begging your pardon, Vow of Resolve. But Her Majesty Queen Sveen is paying visit to her people, as is her wont. What are you talking about? Sveen is dead. You officiated the funeral yourself. We all placed flowers to mourn her passing. A funeral? For Her Majesty. <laughs> what a curious jest. You know full well that ceremony was to commemorate those lives lost during the attack of Alexandria. Her Majesty walks among her people that she might support them in this most trying of times. Surely that is not cause for consternation. Won't you free us from these terrible memories of the departed? This is no way to live. Not for us, nor our children. I wish that I could. Truly I do. But with living memory shut down, even I cannot restore the system that once afforded us that comfort. You needn't fret, however. 
I have prepared an alternate solution. All of us shall be made endless. I have created a new system that allows you to transplant your memories directly into an ethereal vessel. One not reliant upon soul cells. This way, you need never again fear death. You may live as you please, and for as long as you like. Our stores of ether are, at present, not sufficient to provide this boon to everyone. But some of you received near regulators for the funeral ceremony, did you not? And there are still more we have yet to distribute. Five thousand in all. One day soon, those with Neo Regulators will be called to join the Endless, and thence be free of suffering forevermore. But only five thousand of us? You victor! The real Sphine would never be content to save only some of her people. Who are you? I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Let's return to the back room. I need to calm down, and then we'll talk.
my people. 